protect uh, plastic coverage. Prevent the water, uh, the, the moisture evaporate. Uh, 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 you, you, you mean the moisture yeah, can, can keep the moisture inside. Okay, yeah. okay, not so, evaporate so easily. Yes, yes. The Minister of Agriculture, Solomon Owens, is part of the entourage officiating the start of the project in Kanilai. His presence is testimony to the importance the agricultural ministry attaches to this project. And this is the replication phase. Um, 3,000 we have brought in and it will be replicated here. Mm -hmm. And from here we intend to replicate it in Chamin, wow. in the North Bank region, in Sapo, in the Sierra, and Jirobokunda. These are seed multiplication centers mm -hmm. where we think we can start replicating this mm -hmm. and probably grow more suckers. Mm -hmm. Because as I said, um, these ones are being grown from soccer. Mm -hmm. Traditionally, what we've done in this country is to grow pineapple from the crown. You want to tell me that it has been happening? I've never seen pine pineapple grown here. It has well, been happening? it was here on a very limited scale uh -huh. in the um, late 70s and early 80s. And, but then the, 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 the project died down. It died down, yeah, huh? yeah, totally, yeah. Because as I said, we used to grow them from crown. You buy pineapple from the market, uh -huh. then cut off the crown, and, and that is what we plant. And then again, it, it used to do well? Well, it, it grows, but again, the, 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 the produce is very small. It takes between something like 24 months to even produce something. Yeah. Oh. Now, this I'm hearing is coming definitely from the crown. We grow this, that's the side shoots of the plant. Mm -hmm. This is what we call the suckers that mm -hmm. shoot out from all sides of the plant. And they are supposed to be faster. As you can see, they are even bigger mm -hmm. than what you get from the pineapple itself. Just like in Banjulunding, the Gambia Fruit Test Program is being nurtured with local participation, bringing together officials of the National Research Institute NARI and the Canny Life Farms in the second phase of the program. We have had our first harvest at the unit. Okay. The fruits were very, very good because one fruit can give you up to 1 kilo to 1.5 kilos, and they are very quality. So far, we have not had any patient disease problem, as one may expect. Here, too, we hope uh, with the replication of uh, this variety here, that we may not encounter anything. Although we have been different, having different, different new crops, mm -hmm. but this time, uh, this pineapple is completely new here. The experts are working on the replication of the method to some new test sites, relying heavily on the success of the Kanilai experiment. Abdinjai, GRCS. As supporters of the president, they escort him to state functions, but the green youths are also helping to turn the Gambia into a breadbasket through an agriculture initiative. Ababukar Kamara recently spent time with the green youths to know more about the venture, and he now reports. They are known as loyalists on wave by staggering economic prizes and tagged by many as mere ceremonial escorts of the president without a portfolio. This merely constitutes their ambition and current engagements. We walk this garden with physical labor at our own account, and people brand us as useless and often said we only sing and run after the president. But we, the term useless, have walked this garden to break the eyes as truly arrested by the president. They are the green youths with a new reciprocal strategy of a green revolution, preoccupying their invaluable time as continually advocated by the president. With a vast mixed crop in garden, they have earned themselves with a distinctive portfolio of farming entirely dedicated to the Gambian leader. For his advice, they flow to earn the platform they truly represent. <laughs> We are appealing to the president to help us with farming tools. We are committed to pay heed to his advice and farm to benefit ourselves. We hate talking too much and prefer a commitment that will liberate us from hunger and poverty. We are the very ones who cultivate this garden and still being termed the useless. But if we were, these gardens would not have been here. We are committed to the president's call of working hard. With a vast onion species almost close to harvesting is the Akakumba orchard, bearing fruit of their sweat through hard work and continued loyalty 
They have covered needs for their distinguished services by all standards, with an undeterred commitment, reassuring their knack to President James back to the land call. GRTS. The Gambia Teachers Union Cooperative Credit Union recently converged for their annual general meeting. Louis Mendy reports the 16th convergence brought together members of the union reviewed reports, minutes of the various meetings, financial statements, and also recruited new members to fill the existing vacant positions in the loan committee. Cooperative Credit Union with a membership of over 9,000 teachers with net assets of over $100 million concluded its 16th general meeting. The annual convergence provided the platform for members to look at the achievements registered by the union and strategize ways of consolidating the gains. The forum was also an opportunity for members to exploit expertise for the long-time viability of the union. In order to include all members, we have decided to open branches in all regional directorates this year and this month because Farafenye has already been given office premises for operations. Renovations are on the way at the moment. We are operating in Farafenye first week of April, inshallah. That development will enable members and the institutions they manage to access all our services and products within their regions of operations. It also brings with it the need to revamp our human resources, meaning more recruitment and deployment of current staff, or at worst, redesignations to meet the new demands for skills and talent. Finally, Mr. Permanent Secretary, President, Chairman, and Delegates, the board recently distributed 78 out of 100 motorbikes ordered from China and a further 178 and the 22 left over from the first consignment due in Banjul before the end of the academic year. Since the union tasked itself with the responsibility of bettering the lives of the teaching fraternity, the GTU-CCU is credited for its relentless pursuit of teachers' welfare. In 2012, the union took the bold decision of paying its members' salary on behalf of the government and a partnership with the Gambia College that makes it possible for the union to pay examination fees for student teachers. We have achieved a lot since the establishment of the GTU-CCU, but, but the recent payment of teachers' salary in their schools or in their placements is a clear manifestation of our resolve to improve the living and working conditions of our members, not only teachers. However, we must not rest on our laurels, but rather strive to address the threats to our rapid growth, such as loan recovery, among others. A day long session scrutinized reports, minutes of the previous general meetings, and the financial statement of the union. New executive members were also recruited to fill the vacancies in the loan committee. The board and management will work on further building the capacities of members of this committee in due course, because unless they are adequately capacitated to facilitate the elections of competent, dedicated, and motivated aspirants with the requisite legal, financial, and managerial experience, we will continue to haphazardly elect our leaders, which is recipe for disaster. The team for this year's general meeting is creating a brighter Gambia through credit union. It was at one of the CCMs that I said, look, from next month, I want all the schools to transfer their accounts to the GTU CCU. And you know why I'm saying that? It is the GTU CCU that will save you when you are in trouble. It is the GC, GTU CCU that will prevent a headmaster being taken to the NIA, as it did in the past. It is the GTU CCU that will look after your welfare. The team for this year's annual general assembly, creating a brighter Gambia through credit union, is indeed essential, not only to the credit union philosophy, but significantly to the flight of your profession, considering the income capacity of the teaching community.